Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting unboxing slash review for you guys from the brand insert name here hair or INH hair for short. Now I am obsessed with this brand. I found out about them sometime last year in October and it was actually through an Instagram ad that I saw them and I took a chance, ordered a couple of their ponytails and I fell in love so I was beyond ecstatic when they reached out to me saying that they wanted to do a collab so they let me pick out a few products and we're gonna we're gonna talk about them I'm very excited so let's get into this all right so they let me pick out two things so I picked out a wig and I picked out their Miley buns now I own a lot of ponytails and I say all the time that I'm obsessed with them and it's, it's very true so we're gonna get into this I think we're gonna start with the buns and then the wig because the wig will require I think a little more effort so let's start off with the buns now for those of you that don't know INH hair, I really really love it. The quality of their products is amazing and this is like, this is my opinion, it doesn't even matter that they sent me this, like I am generally obsessed with their products. Myself struggling with thin hair, it's been a real confidence booster for me as like it's just, it just adds a little something. I wear my ponytails in the videos all the time. You guys see them in the videos all the time. I have one that reminds me of like Ariana Grande and I just feel like a bad in that. And it's just, they're so, so nice. And they recently came out with a little hair revival spray that I need to get desperately because some of my ponytails do be looking a little ragged. Aw, this is so cute! It comes in a little box! I'm obsessed with that! So, I love twin tails, and one of the things that I miss about having longer hair and thick hair in general, though I've never had thick hair, is being able to do space buns and like good looking space buns. So I was obsessed when I saw that these came out. Now the packaging is beautiful, it sticks to their brand, it's got like this like faded rainbow almost. Let's open up the little buns. This is so cute! I'm always gonna store them in this, this is just adorable. Okay, so I got the buns in Ash Blonde. They look like a little donut roll, but it's squishy. This is so cute! Those are really light. I was honestly a little nervous that they were going to be heavy because I know with some of my ponytails, if I want to do twin tails, they are a little heavy. That is why I love the Jordan when I'm wearing. She's pretty light and I love that. But enough about her. Let's talk about the Miley buns. These are so cute. Now they are synthetic and I've never tried their pieces with like the ties and stuff so this is gonna be experience for both you and I but like let's get a little close up on this shall we? So the inside is like a little hairnet and then of course we have the synthetic hair part. It is so soft. And I really hope that this, I don't think this would get as knotted as my ponytails, mostly because it's sticking in a bun and I am figuring out this is to wrap around the base of the bun, I gotcha. I'm figuring it out, so, but this is really cute. So we are going to take my ponytail out and attempt to do some space buns, so let's do that. Alright, so now that I am free of my ponytail, I've got a few hair ties here and we are going to go over the process of putting these buns in. So. First off, I think I'm going to make two little buns up here because we're definitely going to go for the space bun look and then we're going to insert the buns which is going to be a fun little thing for both of us. So first I'm just going to part my hair down either side and then I'm going to do them up in high buns. Alright, so that was a task putting my hair up in buns. I don't normally do that uh, because I don't normally do space buns so there probably was a super easier way to do that but I struggled with it but now it is time to attach our Miley buns so I watched tutor tutorials I watched tutorials on how to put these in so they have the little claw part here which I'm assuming gets dug in and then we are going to pull it tight Okay, I'm gonna pin it there and just see what I got because, oh my goodness, <laughs> even after watching so many tutorials. Okay, I could be Princess Leia with this. <gasps> I could be Princess Leia with this. Okay, that changes everything. <laughs> this is like a huge bun. I don't think I inserted that correctly, but I'm gonna try and insert this one and see if it turns out a little better. And then if I need to, I'll correct this side here. 
Let's do this again. Take two. So. OMG, look at the difference. It's so much bigger and so much like fuller. Let's give you on how to put it in. So I've got the claw here and I just shoved it up the back of my bun and then I grabbed the string, the drawstring, and I'm pulling it really tight and then with the little hair tail, I'm going to wrap it around and yes, I did notice that I forgot to tuck in the little drawstring. You would do that before, but I totally forgot. But you're wrapping this around and then you are going to want to pin it. I also just want to point out how well the color matches my hair. INH Hair has an amazing customer service team that can match your hair to the correct color if you send them a DM or an email. They are happy to help you and I think that's fantastic because I'm like, it is. it looks like my hair. I'm so happy with it and I mean just look how, look how cute these buns are when I actually can put them in right. So cute. After doing it in front of the mirror a few times, I think I finally got the hang of it and I definitely like the position up more and I found out that it looks really cute with a scrunchie on. I mean like, can we just, cause I think it just sucks in a little bit more. I think that looks cute. They're really cute and they're very lightweight and they're big enough that I could do a Princess Leia look with. So all in all, a 10 out of 10 from me. Oh, okay, that took a lot out of me. That was quite a bit of time. However, I do really like the buns and I think I just need a little more time to practice putting them in and out. But let's move on to the wig. Now this will be a cakewalk for me as I love wigs. You guys who have been following me for a while know that I love wigs. I own about over a hundred of them. However, I don't own any from them. And they have some really nice lace front wigs. And I wanted to try one. All right, so here is the wig. It is in a hairnet and it has the little bit of cardboard around there. A lot of people always ask me what that's there for and it's so that the the part up here, the hairline, doesn't actually get crushed because I've done that to a few of my wigs myself. When you don't have that in there and you compress it and stuff, the next time you put it on, it'll make like a little peak and it just doesn't sit right and I had to flatten it. So, but that is what that little cardboard bit is for. They did include a wig cap for me as well. So they've got one of the little nylon ones. I preferably prefer a different one. However, for this, I'm going to use this one because it is a lace front. And I think definitely having a nude ball cap works a lot better when you are doing this kind of thing, just cause it kind of, Oh, there's two. That's so nice. Aw. So, if you have thicker hair, I would separate your hair into two parts, braid them, and then smush them to the side. However, I am just going to put mine in a ponytail and kind of bobby pin it up because I have super thin hair, so it doesn't really do too much. Ta-da! All right, now for those who have never put a wig cap on before, it is quite simple. So, get your wig cap nice and stretchy and I kind of oh this is why I don't like these ones as much the one I use is a, a little different but I'm gonna start from the <laughs> I am going to start let's go like this there we go and then make sure all the hair is in and then now you can just tuck in the little flyaways like so you want to just make sure as much of the hair is in there as possible. All right, and then I'm going to push that back as we're working with a lace front. So, ta-da, here is, am I cute? I think so. Anyways, let's move on to the Kennedy. This is really pretty. I only have a few other lace front wigs and I don't really wear them that often because they're really funky color wise so I don't have a lot to wear them with. However, I always wanted a natural colored one. This is so silky. Oh my gosh, I could literally just spend hours doing this. I'm like, I wish my actual hair felt like this. This is really, really pretty. So the Kennedy is just a blonde bob, which I think can go with anything. So lace front wigs obviously have lace. You can't see it because of my skin tone, but there is lace right here, which you do have to cut off and then you glue down. Now, normally you are supposed to use wig 
glue. However, I've run out, so I might use eyelash glue. Who knows, the world is my oyster. But first off, we need to cut this excess lace off. So let's do that first. All right, so I've cut the excess little bits of lace off, at least to the length that I prefer it at. So now it is a lot shorter. You can't really see it. So that is how short I like to get it. I don't like it very long. And again, this wig, this is what a wig cap looks like, or the wig itself. So it's got the little brush, the little stabby bits. I never were sure what they're called. The secure combs, if that's what you want to call them, everywhere. And it does have a band as well. I've never seen a Velcro one. It's always been little hooks and stuff when it comes to wig adjusting size. However, that's really nice to know that they have it in there because some people need it a little bigger and a lot of the time I need it a little smaller. So that's really awesome. But how I'm going to install this wig or put this wig on and then I'm gonna kind of hook it in from the back and pull forward and then hold here and pull down the back and secure the back in. Like, it's it's hard to describe, so now that the back's secure, I'm gonna secure these side pieces. OMG! Okay, I am obsessed with this wig. I'm a big wig fanatic, so like, I own a lot of wigs. I know a lot about wigs. This is a really good wig. It's so silky, and it's so smooth, and it will not stay this beautiful forever because I know I will mess it up, and I'm very bad at tending to my wigs. However, like I mentioned earlier, they came out with a spray, and it's supposed to be really good, so I'm gonna have to get that, but this is so pretty and so silky, and like, it looks, it looks like my legit hair, right? Like, this looks legit. It's so secure. I think having the one and the two, three, plus the adjustable sizing in the back was so good. I mean, just like, look, can we look at her? Can we look at her? I love it so much. This is so good. I'm definitely going to be buying more of their wigs now. I was a little skeptical at first, which is why I was like, oh, you want to collab? I'm going to try a wig. So I... I'm definitely gonna be all up in their wigs now, uh, especially the lace front ones. This is so beautiful for a lace front. I'm always nervous with lace front wigs because they never look good or maybe the lace is just not right and it makes me sad, but this is so nice. I love it so much. So 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. It's so silky and so smooth. I love this wig. All right guys, that is it for this video. What do you think? Do you need to go get yourself some Miley Buns and a Kennedy wig perhaps now? I am beyond over the moon. I'm so happy with both of them. I definitely think I'm gonna have to practice more with the Miley Buns before I wear them out on the town, just cause I'm still getting a hang of putting them in as far as the Kennedy goes. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. I went and took so many cute pics after. I was like, mm. I was so feeling myself. I'm like a little Christina Aguilera moment. I am obsessed. As I mentioned, guys, if you need any help, their customer service team is absolutely amazing and they will color match you if you DM them or if you email them. They are so, so, so helpful and so sweet. If you have thin hair, again, I'm like, this was such a big confidence booster for me. I love their ponytails. I wear them all the time. I definitely need to be taking breaks in between the days. I mean, they are like for a daily wear, but I pull my hair really tight. So like, that's not healthy for your hair. So definitely take breaks in between your ponytail days. But I just, I love them so much. I could go on and on about how much I love INH hair, but Alas, this video must come to an end eventually. However, before I go, they did give me a super awesome discount code, which I mentioned earlier in the video, so you guys can use Cheeky Sparkles for 15% off anything on their website. So yeah, get yourself some cute hair things, perhaps a Kennedy, perhaps some Miley Buns. Maybe it's a Jordan Pony, she's my favorite. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like promoting other products in the video that, you know, wasn't even sent to me. I just, I love them so much, so. I I just love this brand. I hope I get to work with them again in the future, but yeah, that is all for this video. So I love you guys a lot and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Time to add these cuties to the bin of all my INH hair stuff. We've got a
Molly on top, and now it's a Kennedy. <laughs>